Well, Mr. TV announcer, I think you got that right. January 21st, the bad boy versus the bad guy. It's been 20 years in the waiting for the rematch. Tito's car just got repossessed a week ago. Tito has a Rolls Royce. Now, in fairness, that's a beautiful car. I wouldn't own one because I'm not that big of a prick, but it just got repossessed. Unfortunately, he couldn't get this match before. I heard that he tried to sell some suits to make do on the car, but nobody had a size 52 stupid. Yeah, I like distractions. I don't even know what Tito's doing here. I came here to fight Vandalay Silva, uh, and he's busy. I got a phone call said, you want to fight Tito on January 21st? My wife said we didn't have anything going on, so I came out to California. I love having distractions. I don't like days off. Tito is literally in the only profession I know of where you don't need to wear a suit, and he keeps showing up in one. It's like a local funeral parlor closed, and he it's went and took class, it off a corpse. Dude, it's something you need to learn. Shows up class. looking like a maitre d' at Golden Corral. Yeah. I'm just happy that he got here. Somebody got him the Uber app, or, or he, he thumbed a ride down down here. I hope he gets to the forum on well, you're Saturday You're very welcome. Night. Your chick actually had red penny night this weekend because you're getting paid because of me. Tito, go ahead. Tell him what I do so well. Well, he talks well. His mouth has gotten him in every fight, big fight that he's had. And every time when it's time to present and perform, he's failed. On Saturday night, it's not going to change. What I do well, I come up with heart, I come up with determination, I come up with hard work and perseverance. When I get my hand raised, I'll know why. And so all the millions of fans that have had my back over the last 20 years. Tito always says I'm using my mouth to get my opportunities. The only person I know that made money using their mouth is his ex-wife. <laughs> well, just to correct you, I was never no marriage. You're a fucking punk, dude. <laughs> that's, what you call, that's what you call class right here compared to no class. That was a nasty line. No class. Me. No class at all. That's why you see him with thongs and fucking jeans and a T-shirt. <laughs> no class. They don't call you the bad guy for nothing. Just, just you, fucking, you, you dug your grave, man. You have dug your grave. The this F is no word, game. that wasn't classy. I don't care, man. No, I don't care. You, you've already you, you've ruffled my feathers way too much, partner. Yo, you talk about on. my ex, man. You say shit like that? You're classy. Like, Tito. Shh. Come on. Four letter words. Come on, Mr. Class. It's kind of funny. Um, I was listening to Kristen Walken, a um, little skit he did, and he talked about a lion, king of the jungle, this huge lion with a big giant mane in this hot, smothering weather in Africa. And the little small lions come up, kind of poke at him, bite on his ear, bite on his neck. The lioness comes over and buzz, bugs him. Then you got the jackals and the rest of the wilderness looking and seeing these lions on that mountaintop. And they come over and bother him. The jackals laugh at him. The hyenas laugh at him, nip at his toes. They eat all of his food. And they sit back. And they got jackals like this who think it's a comedy. Until one day he gets sick of it and he attacks and he shows to these people who the fucking king of the jungle is. And this little hyena, I'm going to eat right through him. And we'll see on Saturday night. It, 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 you know what? It's good because it, it fuels me. It's fueled me over the last 14 weeks. And it's great to see. Because you hear that snoring nose? That's a snoring nose you're going to hear in the second round of the fight. <coughs> ha, that's me. good. That's some, that was good. That was good work by you. I gave you a good setup. Tell another jackal story about Christopher Walken and a, and a mane and a lion and, <laughs> and a <laughs> Vitor from back in the yeah. day. You fucking joker. You're a joker, dude. Hey, classy. You're a joker, You're a joker But there's a lot of guys that need their asses kicked. I thought I was done. I After thought all that practicing was ran. and you hit up on that? Interrupting Jesus, God, is not like, classy. God. <laughs> No, no interruptions aren't. Look I at that. Brought him down in the over dirt over with me. Did it. Said he wouldn't come here, but I got him here, didn't I? Got him all frustrated in his nice suit and his four-letter words. What was I saying? I was saying something brilliant. What was it? I've lost my own train of thought. Saturday night, live, free, and only on Spike TV. Have I mentioned that? Tickets still available at the forum, even though we already have a record gate. Do you guys know that? A record gate. Look and at this sure press conference. Make sure you throw that Eminem quote in, too, while you're at it. Never. Oh, wait, I'm sorry, Marshall Mathers. Tito. You know him so well. Tito. Classy. <laughs> Classy. Live free and only on Spike TV. People have asked me, how do you sell this fight? Why should we tune in to watch you and Tito? This is the first time I've been in a main event and I don't have anything to sell. I could not sell the fans something if I wanted to. This is free, which means everybody can afford it except Tito.
out of his ass and it's not his butt. 